Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. A while ago I covered changes by Laub and some of you requested for a tutorial. Shout out to RJ Roferos and Sarah MX. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be teaching you how I played changes. And it's worth noting that a capo slash capo is recommended. Um, and you do need to know how to play some bar chords. So let's do it. So first things first, you're gonna to need to take your capote and put it on the first fret. And you should be ready to go. Now there are five chords in this song and two of them are bar chords and I'm gonna teach them to you right now. The first chord you're gonna need is A. So you're gonna take second fret, uh, fourth, third, and second string. Everything else is open and it should give you A. Now the next chord you're going to need is A7 and you're literally just going to take off this finger, uh, 2nd fret, 3rd string, and that should give you A7. Uh, the, the next chord you're going to need is D, which is 2nd um, fret, 3rd string, 3rd fret, 2nd string, and 2nd fret, 1st string. That's a D. The next chord you're going to need is F sharp minor, and this is where the bar chords start to come in. So, you're basically going to bar over the second fret, and fifth and fourth strings are going to be under the fourth fret. And the last chord you're going to need is B. So basically you bar over the 2nd fret again, and you're going to take 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings and put it on the 4th fret, and you have B. So those are the chords you're going to need for this song, it should be good. Alright, so this is the verse. I'm getting rid of all my clothes I don't wear, I think I'm gonna cut my hair. Days I don't feel like me. Mm. I think I'm gonna take a break from alcohol. I probably won't last that long. But Lord knows I could use some sleep. Mm. Alright, so basically now we're on the verse, which is also technically the intro, which is also technically the bridge. Um and this is the chord progression. So it's A to A7, then D, back to A, then F sharp minor, down to B, then back to D, and back to A. So that's the whole chord progression of the song, of the, um, basically the entire song, because it takes up a lot of the song. Um, so in the first verse, I used a plucking pattern, whereas in the second verse, I used a strumming pattern. And the strumming pattern is actually based off of the chorus. So for now, I'm going to teach you the plucking pattern, because um, the strumming pattern comes with the chorus, and I'll teach that to you later. Now that we know the chord progression, let's get on to the plucking pattern. So we're going to take the first chord, which is A, and basically this is the plucking pattern for all plucking pa for the entire plucking pattern. It's always descending. So in the case of A, it's fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string. Five, four, three, two. And then you add a you add a slap at the end. So it's and then you move on to the next chord which is A7 and you just hit all four strings 5, 4, 3 and 2 you hit all of them at once and you add another slap 
So you get this, basically. So it's... And then for the next chord, which is D, you start from the fourth string down to the first string. So it's four, three, two, one. And then A, five to four, five to second string again. You hit all of them. So, so far we've got this. It's Then the next chord, which is F sharp minor, you actually do go sixth string, fourth string, third string, second string. So it's six, four, three, two, and then slap, and then you take B, and it's five to two again, all four strings, slap. And then we're going to do D to A. So this time I'm going to play the plucking pattern while calling out the chords. So here we go. One, two, three, four, A. A7. D. A. F sharp minor. B. D. And that's basically the whole first verse. So now we're on to the first chorus, and basically this is how it goes. One, two, three, four. Changes, they might drive you off insane, but it's killing you to stay the same, but it's all gonna work out, it's all gonna work out some. So I like to think of the first chorus as split into two different parts. The first part is like nice and simple, and then the second part is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated. So we're going to learn the first part first, and the chord progression is exactly the same as the verse. Um, you know, to recap, it's A, A7, D, A, F sharp minor, B, D, A. And that's basically all of the first part of the first chorus. And the, the strumming pattern is super simple. It's just down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Now in relation to the chords, uh, this is how it works. So it's, you take the first chord, you, you hit down, and then you change to the next chord, down, down, up. So what I mean by this is I've got A as my first chord and A7 as my second chord. So it's down, switch chord, down, down, up. And that's basically how it is for, um, it goes D to A, and then F sharp minor to B, and then this next D to A, um, the it's all gonna work out someday. That part is when it starts to change up the chord uh, the strumming pattern specifically. So this D to A chord, uh, D to A shift is basically kind of like the um, transformation from the first part to the second part of the first chorus. Um, the, uh, the strumming pattern changes to the one that's going to be used more commonly throughout the song. And here it is. So it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. I'm going to do it again. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And a little bit faster, that's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now in relation to the chords, it's the first chord, then down, up, up, and then you change to the next chord, down, up, up, down, up. 
So, in the case of the D to the A shift, it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. It's all gonna work out someday. And so yeah, that's the strumming pattern and it's gonna be used throughout all of the second part of the first chorus. And I'm just gonna teach that to you right now. Now I did mention that there was a chord change, but it's not a major chord change. Um, basically you're taking out A to A7 and replacing it with F sharp minor to B. So this is the new chord progression, F sharp minor, B, D, A, F sharp minor, B, D, A. Now I hope you notice that it's basically um, just the same thing repeated twice, and that's exactly what it is. So the second part of the chorus is basically just F sharp minor, B, D, A, repeated twice. Now with the, str with the strumming pattern, it sounds like this. F sharp minor, B, D, A, F sharp minor, I'm just gonna um, uh, I'm just gonna sing the second part of the first chorus so that you kind of get what exactly is happening. Uh, pay attention, and if you want, you can try to play along. I'm gonna play it a little bit slower. So, one, two, three, four. Moments living with your eyes half open. You've been thinking about these changes. It's all gonna. And there you go, that's basically all of the first chorus right there. Even though I taught you the first verse and the first chorus only, you essentially know all the basics to the entire song. Um, so we're going to go over what exactly to use for what situation throughout the song. And we're going to start with the intro, which is basically the same as the first verse. Same plucking pattern and same chord progression. Then the second verse, um, it's basically the same chord progression as the first verse, but you're using the down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up from the second part of the first chorus. So it's, I think I'm gonna take some pills to fix my brain, cause I tried every other way. There's some things you can't fix yourself. And then the second chorus, um, essentially the same as the first chorus, except you're using that chord, that strumming pattern consistently throughout the entire chorus. So it's changes, they might drive you half insane, but it's killing you to stay the same, but it's all gonna work out, it's all gonna work out someday. And then the bridge, um, it's basically the same as the second verse. So it's... And then the final chorus, I do kind of switch things up here, but it's not that um, complicated. Basically, for the first part of the final chorus, it's just a single down strum. So it's... Changes, they might drive you half insane, but it's killing you to stay the same, but it's all gonna work out. And then this D chord, it's just a constant uh, down strum kind of like building up, so it's... It's all gonna work out someday. And then, this, and then the same chord progression. So it's... Moments, living with your eyes half open. You've been thinking about these changes. It's all gonna work out, it's all gonna work out someday. 
so I kind of just ended it at D there. And there you go, that's basically the entire song. Um, so feel free to keep practicing. You can play along with my cover and eventually you're gonna get it. So it's just a matter of time, understanding and practice. So there you go.